Afghanistan is a total and complete disaster. What are we doing? We have all of these horrible events taking place there. We can't even run our own country. We don't build our schools. We don't build our highways. We don't build anything anymore. What's wrong with us? What's wrong with our leadership? And now we have Afghanistan, where a man loses his mind and goes around on a killing spree, and the world hates us for it. What is going on? Money should be spent in our country. We should rebuild our country. And we should also, by the way, reduce our $16 trillion in debt. Let's get with it. Get out of Afghanistan. We've wasted billions and billions of dollars, and more importantly, thousands and thousands of lives, not to mention all of these young men and women that come home and they really have problems. Let's go. Let's get with it. We need leaders that know what they're doing. How does a man named Rick Santorum lose his Senate seat by the highest margin, the largest margin in the history of the modern-day United States Senate, 18 or 19 points, and then decide, ah, I think now I'm going to run for president. It doesn't work that way. You're supposed to be of great achievement, of great success, of great wins, not of great losses. At some point, the Republicans have to get smart. They'll choose Mitt Romney. He's going to be a great candidate, and he's going to be a great president. Let's stop this. This is just absolute craziness. There's no reason for Santorum to get out, because what's he going to do afterwards? Look, it's time. You have to choose your candidate. The candidate should be, in my opinion, Mitt Romney. Now, he'll go out. He's going to do very well against Obama. I think he's going to beat Obama. The polls are indicating that he's going to do very well. It's very, very close right now. Oil prices will make it, in my opinion, impossible for Obama to win. So, choose Mitt Romney. Rick Santorum, you may be a nice guy or you may not be a nice guy. Frankly, I don't care. Get out of the race. We've got to get going. You've got to start criticizing President Obama. The world is laughing at us. We've got to make them stop. A lot of people have been asking the other night on The Apprentice why I fired two people. Well, because it's done so well, NBC decided to have 18 celebrities, which is the most we've ever had, and 15 shows, which is the most it's ever had. So at some point, when you have 15 shows and 18 celebrities, I had to fire two. So that's why I fired Michael Andretti and, at the same time, Adam Carolla. They're both good guys. They did a good job, but it was their time.